Right, I got my two motors built finally. This one uses six coils and six magnets. This one uses 12 coils and 12 magnets. The one on the right is running on a 24 volt power supply. Uh, it's, uh, it has a combination Bedini SSG circuit running the input power and then the back EMF is running off of a Bedini recovery circuit and the same thing is going on with this one. So the input is going into this Bedini SSG circuit. Output is going, or the back EMF is going into this Bedini recovery circuit. And the recovery circuit isn't called a recovery circuit because it's taking the back EMF from the first circuit. It's a recovery circuit because it recirculates its own back EMF. So that's a little distinction. So in each of these cases, the back EMF is driving a second set of coils. So the first half, so in this motor, three of the coils are being driven by the SSG circuit. and this one, six of the coils. And then the other half, so three on this one, is dr driven by the back EMF going into the Bedini recovery circuit. And this one, six, are going back into the Bedini recovery circuit. The one on the left is running 12 volts uh, from a power supply, a DC power supply. And the one on the right is running on 24 volts from a DC power supply. Or I'm sorry, from a, yeah, from a, from this little unit right here. Right now, uh, each of them have a, their own PWM. And the PWM is right now dictating the speed. And they're both turned way down. So as you can see, there's only, what, 90 milliamps coming into this one. Now the other distinction is that uh, I did a really bad job in setting this the, the left motor up because, uh, you, as you can see, it's kind of wobbling. So I have to do a little bit of balancing on that. I just redid this one so it's a lot more balanced than it was the first time. So it's not wobbling all over the place. So I can run it at a much higher speed. So now I'm just going to turn the motors up. Oh, uh, before I do that, the circuits I'm talking about are this one. So this is the Bedini SSG. I modified it a little bit. Um, but, you know, it has a trigger coil that switches on and off a, a resistor, or a transistor. Only added the PWN module and I'm running it on a, on a, I'm using the MOSFET to actually, I'm sorry, an IGBT to actually do the power, uh, handle the power. And in the modified Bifiler Bedini recovery circuit, uh, this is, what's going, what the output back EMF is going to. And actually I have the, the wrong drawing here. This should be a bifiler. Both of these have bifiler windings. So in addition to the trigger coil, uh, you can see, if we get a little closer, I think you can see the red and copper colored um, wires on there. It's about 36 windings for each coil uh, of, of both wires. So. Uh, uh, 72 windings all together for each coil. So let's turn these up, see what happens. So this one, again, is at 12 volts, 90 milliamps. Let's crank it up. Now my power supply maxes out at 5 amps. So right now this is running about 4 amps. And I can slow it down so 
at 4 amps and 11 volts um, I can still slow it down with my hand but it's really hard now if I turn up the voltage let's say go up to like 18 okay it's not gonna go that much higher I think I have some more tweaking on this one. It's out of balance too. Uh, another thing to notice is uh, to pit that I noticed was that the back EMF circuit does not get anywhere near as hot as the uh, as the SSG circuit. Let's turn this back down. Oh, that's right, the P PWM was uh, not PWMing, so it now said 24 volts. Getting a lot of speed. Now it's harder to hold on to. And this one's out of balance, so let's bring the voltage back down. So we'll get it close to 12. And it's running about 1 amp or 1.6 amps. And this will run at really low current too. Now let's do it for this other one. So this is always at 24 volts. And so the PWM really, for the most part, just controls the current. I mean, in addition to the signal that's coming in. So let's turn this one up, see what happens. I remember this one's 24 volts. I'm guessing this is about 10 amps right now. The scope is the scope is showing the back EMF input into the recovery circuit that's driving the second set of six coils. So you'll see the peak at uh, there's five divisions or five volts per division. So the peak is around 13 volts going into the back EMF. And the way that works is that that's 13 volts above the 24, 24 volts, absolutely. So this is running pretty fast. I don't know if I want to put my hand on this one. Yeah, I can slow it down a little bit, but I can't hold on to it, that's for sure. Let's kick it up a little bit. Just destroyed my trigger coil. Hopefully, I didn't shut that one down. <laughs> oh man! Oh well, got to repair that one. But this one, I combined all everything into one circuit. Uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Again, these are the, the circuits I'm using. And thanks for watching.